What is up y'all, D-Man Outdoors, and in today's video we have, a, I guess you can say, not beginning of 2022, but a 2022 rod and reel arsenal. It's a little late on this video, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, I've been stuck with school and everything, but let's get straight into it. First, I'm going to go over the one rod that I don't have a reel for, which is a TCW. TCW335B. It's a two piece rod. Okay, it's down there. It's just a spinning rod. And I think, yeah, it's a six foot high moderate graphic, medium action. Good solid rod. I've used it a few times, but just switch the reel for it. Alright, let's get our next one. This is my only bass spinning rod, and right now I'm using it for catfish for some reason, but it's super thin. Sorry for the construction. Oops, there's a wasp. Sorry. Um, so, we have a H2O Express, six foot six, medium heavy, with a, what brand is this? Aquama or something like that. IG Knight TI 3000 size reel. This is a great rod. I've caught plenty of white bass, plenty of catfish, plenty of regular bass on this. It's just a fun, enjoyable, and I have just this circle hook and a split shot and a knot right there. Just hold this or uh, to hold the bullet weight on it, not split shot, bullet weight. Next, we're gonna get into my three bait casters. I have here, we have some off brand. This is my first bait caster. Some off brand one, but it works super well. Got 14 pound line on it. This is a Berkley lightning rod shock. It is a six foot six medium, heavy, fast. Um, I got this one for $18 on sale. I think it's normally 32. This reel is normally 30 bucks. And I've had this reel for a few years and it works awesome. It's still working phenomenal. There goes a rod. All right. Sorry for the wind. Sorry for the wind, y'all. Next, we have a Shimano SLX with a Guggen Green Series Go-To Rod. This is my favorite, I love it. Right now I have 50 pound braid on it. And I've been flipping a whole bunch because they're on bed up here in Texas. So I've been flipping at my lakes. We've been slaying them in the kayaks. I actually have a few videos coming out soon for y'all maybe. Hopefully I can get a catfishing video that we go tomorrow or Sunday, but yeah. So just, uh, bandito bug again from Guggen and a silver tungsten weight because that's all I had but this one has like a measuring tape right here I'm sure y'all know what a Guggen rod is if not you can search them up after this video is over so yeah and this reel is Shimano SLX not the DC version sadly but it's the Shimano SLX 7.2 it works perfect Next we got, we have a favorite rod, favorite white bird, 7.4 medium heavy with a Abu Garcia Blue Max with a different reel handle on it. It works awesome. I love this for lighter like plastic swim baits because it just very flexy rod tip in it. It just works good for that. Right now I have 10 pound tests. Super light for what I like. I like normally 12 to 14, but you know, it gets by. So yeah. Oh, I was gonna go over pricing also. So, okay, we're here already. So this reel, it came in a combo, but I broke the rod tip on accident, whoops. But the combo is $80, so just say it's 40 and this rod was $80. And then, 
this rod right here the Guggen rods I think they're 100 bucks and so is the SLX so yeah next we're going into uh, my saltwater fishing this one is antique but I'm currently restoring it because I would like to take it down to the coast this is a pin senator with a pin nine level wind reel but it's the spool doesn't turn so we're gonna have to get a new reel but this rod is just awesome it is a i don't know how long it is it doesn't tell me well i'm five foot i'm five foot eight no yeah i'm five foot eight five foot nine so this is probably a six and a half foot rod six foot six and this is a good reel or this is a good rod uh we just picked it up because someone was throwing it away there's nothing wrong with it besides the reel. Yeah. So, currently restoring it. Next, we have a Zebco Bite Alert. This one's good for salt water. This one's good for catfish. It's a little bit heavy for the catfish that I'm fishing for because I don't know where any huge catfish are. But this is a Zebco Bite Alert with a... I think this is an 8,000 size reel. What's good about this is that when you get a fish, you can, or when you cast out, you can, uh, it's a bite alert, so it'll go. I don't know if you picked that up, but once it stops beeping, you cast it out. And then once it gets a bite, that beeper will go off. So you know when you have a fish on. I find that really cool. Right now, I just use that for a live bait for shark. I have a metal leader right here. Sorry y'all for the wind. This one is what I catch all my fish on right here. My car. Currently, I don't know why I have it set up with a bobber, but this one I catch all my fish on. As soon as I cast them out, it's my lucky reel. I reel them in as quick as I fat cast them out. But so this is a Optimum X 8,000 size reel with 50 pound braid on it. We'd like to upgrade to 60 or 70. Uh, this is a Daiwa, Daiwa rod. I don't know the pricing on that bite alert rod or the antique rod, but this reel I think was 50 bucks and the rod was 20 bucks. And that was a shocker and I've caught so many fish and it still held up great for $20. That just blows my mind that this rod is $20, but it performs as good as the higher end ones. And it's a double piece. Um, yeah, that's about it for today's video. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rods over there. And maybe we can get some more in the future, hopefully. So, I guess that's it for today's video. If y'all like it, please like and subscribe. Uh, please comment what your favorite rod is. My personal favorite is the Guggen rod or the antique rod, even though I can't use it. But yeah, comment what your favorite rod is, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.